Welcome to Deep Thought, the metaphysics of spanking. Now, I know this is going to cause some trouble and stuff, right? And I'm going to say spanking. Let me be very clear from the get-go. This isn't about beating the hell out of a kid or some of the other stuff they're doing. That's not spanking, right? That's not spanking at all. That's uh, child abuse. Somebody hitting their kid in the face or leaving bruises like that. But understand there are some metaphysics behind spanking right because uh one of the things and i mentioned this in my previous video um you get you talk to a lot of older people especially in their 50s and 60s back when spanking was more prevalent you didn't have to worry about like some kid calling um you know child protective services or something right the thing with spanking, and I'm talking about just, just someone not, not hitting somebody, just, you know, trust me, a couple hands to the butt takes care of shit, all right? You know? Because I'll tell you, I'll say it straight up. I'll say it straight up. Everybody always see my sons and say they very well behaved, like extremely well behaved. Uh, that's because uh, myself, my, you know, their mother... <laughs> Their grandparents had no problems going to that ass when they were little. See, what, what spanking did, and it actually causes behavior, it, it puts, it causes someone who doesn't like it, you know, nobody wants to be spanked, right? Well, yeah, except in uh, sexual situations, but this ain't that type of party. <laughs> this, ain't the, this ain't that type of party, so we won't go there. But... What happens when a child has that, when they have a, it gives us a negative consequence, it causes them to think about their actions, right? It causes them to realize that there's a consequence for what they do. So as a result, they think about it. before they do something they know to be bad, they like, no, nah, I don't want to get spanked again. What it causes is the development of the will, right? It causes the development of the will. It causes somebody to start thinking, you know, they think. They think before they act because they know there's a consequence. It, it causes them to develop their will. It causes them to become an adult. And this is something I've seen in, um, I'm talking with, uh, you know, because I found it funny, and I know I picked this up years ago. You know, you get some very well-behaved adults, very, and they would, it, it, you know, sometimes you get in those conversations, you sitting around talking about your best spanking, like with pride and stuff. <laughs> like with pride, you like, yeah, you like, you laughing about it. But then one of the things I started peeping, I was like, you know what? These are some very well-adjusted adults, very well-adjusted because it causes you to think about stuff. Now, see, as uh, as people, you know, we, we got all liberal and stuff. And you're like, oh, no, we don't want that to happen and all of that. All of a sudden, kids just, they don't even, they just do whatever. They don't worry about it. And then you got kids who... You know, they don't show any respect for adults. You know, sometimes they cursing like adults. You know, they're being, they doing whatever. You know, they, they doing stuff. They speaking to adults a certain way. And what you have is you have a disruption of uh, a very good disruption of society. Now, of course, like I said, you got some people who take it too far. And you can check them. But trust me, a lot of times just a, just a, just a little thing on the on the booty, on the ass, it does a lot. Cause that's a kid. They shoot. They don't feel good for them. But they check their behavior. <laughs> they check their behavior, and within reason, it can. Uh, you know, like I said, I've seen adults, adults, fifties and sixties, and they they still remember stuff, laugh about it. Because, you know, you don't have to worry about them or anything. Because, see, one of the things we have a problem with in this, in this society, we have to use outside forces to check behavior. 
And that's that's a savage thing. The larger the police, you have a large police, you got to have a large security force, large police force, basically to check bad behavior. And that's because they, these you see a civilized society, and I'm gonna say it, a civilized society would have a mechanism where someone, um, you know, develops within their own spirit the ability to basically follow the rules to be okay. You know, they would just develop that. And I know, I know, and I know I'm going to get some people, probably get some arguments. And, you know, they'll say, oh, just let the kids do whatever. Well, those those kids on drugs and stuff. <laughs> those those kids on drugs. Those those kids talking about 15, they want to be emancipated and stuff. Those those kids who think they can not show any respect to adults. I mean, we have a whole bunch of millennials now. They don't show any respect to the, uh, the elders of people uh, above them. That's because somebody thought, oh, it was a great idea. Just let the kids grow up and everything. Just let, just let them do whatever and all that. They're little people. They're little, they're little grown-ups. No, they're not. They're kids. Kids are sociopathic by nature. They're supposed to be. You know? They have to, that's why in civilized cultures, they have a rites of passage to let them know, okay, you're an adult now. Yet now you have, you have a critical mass of the population who they can be in their 30s, 40s, and 50s, and they behave like children in how they do stuff. And it is it, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to see. <laughs> it's amazing to see that somebody isn't making a correlation that, wait a minute, they, they weren't, you know, at no point were they made to think about their actions or a consequence of their actions. And see, that's the metaphysics behind it because a metaphysical thing is developing the will. A metaphysic thing is developing the self-awareness to check your own behavior. You know, we live in a society. Most people, the reason most people won't commit crimes is not because they, you know, just have some inherent thing in them that says it's wrong to commit a crime. The only reason is many people just don't want to run afoul of the criminal justice system. That's why in situations like riots, you know, where there might be a breakdown or uh, situations where people can get away with it, stuff happens. And this is, this is all the time. Like, I use the example of riots, but, you know, I have to work retail. And you, may, you have, like, middle class women, like, shoplifting. You know, I mean, I mentioned uh, on my business channel of merchandise before. You know, I'm sitting out putting out some socks or something, and some woman casually, some woman looked like a soccer mom casually talking about how she stole some socks, and then I just looked at her, and she looked at me, and I'm just like, but how come there wasn't something in that woman to say, you know what, this is wrong to take that? See, that's what it means. That's what the metaphysics are. It creates, it develops the will. See, and I don't think, I don't know if I've really discussed the three levels of man, but... Uh, just real quick, in many traditions, many traditions, there were always three levels of humanity. There was the sage, you know, that's 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 like the Christ. That's that's uh, Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad. Um, you know, medicine black elk. That was a Native American. Uh, a Kofu Anchoe. I think that's his name. He was an Akan holy man. Um, you know, so that's the highest level, but then you have the superior man, all right? That's the next level. That's the that's the man and the woman who have uh, developed their will, developed their behavior. And then they're the inferior, they're the inferior men, the masses, the herd. You, you got to put stuff in places to control their behavior. Their behavior is controlled from the outside. Now, to become a superior person. That behavior comes from the inside. What Spanking did was actually created. Now, I'm going to tell you what. There was a, I remember something uh, read by a metaphysician known in, the, I'll say, the black metaphysical community, Bobby Hemmett. And he wrote on a message board about the metaphysics of Spanking in the black community. Because he was talking about, if you really look at the period before 1965, and the Civil Rights Act and everything, um, I'm just going to put it out there. Blacks had a superior way of behaving. Had more control over their behavior. 
And it wasn't because of segregation or something, but it's just they knew there were more consequences. If you check the history, the family was more intact. Um, the majority of people in the filling the prisons were not black. And you had a community uh, like, like coming up. But one of the things that kept that community safe, uh, and kept it intact and helped develop the people like the level of behavior, despite the level of difference in money and resources, the level of behavior was superior to the rest of the society. But one of the things was the use of spanking. Now, I know that's, con like I said, that's controversial, but you look at it. <laughs> look at it. A uh, good book to, because they, you know, a good book to read in that regard is uh, the, uh, what is that book? Uh... It was a Negro uh, problem. I can't, um, you know what that dude's name, I'm blanking on that dude's name. Hold on. All right, the book was called An American Dilemma, The Negro Problem in Modern Democracy by uh, Gunnar uh, Murdell. It was a two-volume set, heavily footnoted, where they basically studied every aspect of uh, black life in the United States, every single aspect. <laughs> that was uh, well footed noted. It's a very, probably 1,500 pages. And one of the things uh, they found, that and in other studies, that despite segregation, despite everything blacks were going through, like, as I said, the level of behavior was higher. Part of the thing that did it was a tradition of uh, corporal punishment for kids because it forces them to put up uh, control over their ego to think about stuff and that's that's the deepness that's something that uh, Bobby Hammett pointed out right and that's that's the deepness of it now like I said it's not necessary that somebody you know beat the hell out of somebody that's that's savage or, you know, bruise them up or, you know, punish them and stuff. Because, see, I think part of the problem was just some people took the shit too far, which is unnecessary. When you're dealing with a child, trust me, a spank on the butt, that's all you need. Seriously. Seriously. And so, I mean, and that's the interesting thing. And I know people are like, man, that's why. But, no, think about it for a second. Think about the adults who might have faced that. You know, it's within reason. You know, they very well behave, control their own behavior. They don't need something outside themselves. So think about it. It's deep. See, a lot of times, well, I'm going to just, I'll put it out like this. Be careful. See, a lot of times people don't understand why things are falling apart. And really, it comes down to the people. You got a lot of uh, juvenile-minded people running around. You know, that's why you need a big police force. <laughs> that's why you need, that's why there are so many laws. The more laws, the bigger the police force. That means people are not regulating their own behavior. Because that's what all these things come down to, regulating another person's behavior. You know, you talk about drug use and everything, but, you know, a person regulating their own behavior, they're not going to get on drugs. They're not going to use it no matter what. Because they've developed the ability to regulate their own drives. And I'm, I'm going to get more into that later on. So anyway, right, that's it for today. Something to think about. I know it might be controversial, but sometimes, well, sometimes we need to go there. So anyway... That's it for today. Keep rising and transforming.